Hello, everyone, or since you're all Mr. Maggot subscribers, I would like to call you the Maggot Maniacs. I'm honored to be invited here to talk to you about the traps that are in the movie reviewed today, Saw 3. The way I will rate the traps will be a combination of two notes. First on 5 point will be on how f***ed up it is, ruthless or wrong, and the other 5 points will be for how brutal and efficient they are. Alright Mr. Maggot, let's start that review. The first trap we see in the movie looks to be some kind of homage to the first Hellraiser movie. The victims have a ring in his skin attached to chains that risk to rip him apart. But what he have to do is to rip them off himself, do it like a band-aid, one quick pull. With the notes I will go, for the first part, it is pretty cruel, but not all of those ring in places where it have a nerve or muscle. Four of them are only in the back and the ribs, so it could have been worse. The one in the jaw though, that f***ed up. And for the other note, I will go with a two. Yeah, only two, I know, it is brutal, but it's only ripping like a couple pieces at the same time. I don't think the dude will rip in half. You probably would survive, even if after you want to die. So I gave the first trap a five out of ten. The second trap. Well, first note, I will go with two. Because yes, it's cruel, you have to burn your hand, but just go quick, take the key and get out. You should not lose the use of your hand. And that chest opener, it is brutal, especially because all your guts afterwards fall on the ground. And this one is not that much on torture. I'm sure some of you would give a four, but I cannot go more than three. So I gave that one a five, two. The third one. Okay, that one is pretty lame. You're being attached, you can't move, and water shoots on you. You are freezing to death. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I will give one for the first part, and another freaking one for the second. I will even give this kill a pity point. I got nothing more to say. Well, at least after you get a pretty sweet decoration, you can maybe try to sell popsicle to cannibals, or I don't know, just punch it and see it shattered. Oh yeah, just out of pity, I'll give it a tree. Okay, fourth trap is just disgusting. No pain involved, no death either. The dude actually get out of it. But imagine if your lungs filled with pig's guts, skins, eyes, and there is even some maggot in there. But for the first score, I give it four. Only for the nastiness of this idea, and for the brutal note, well, it is not brutal at all. It is just gross, and yes, drowning might be one of the worst death. So I was about to give it a 2, but I will go with a 3. 7 out of 10. The fifth trap. This one actually have a little name. It's one of Jigsaw's favorite. He call it the Rack. This is cruel, and you can't try anything. Like some other of the trap in this movie, your fate is in another man's hands. So I'll go with a 4. Now, if every member would have twist at the same time, I would have given it a 4 for the second note. But since it go one by one and finish with your head, it makes it very painful, brutal, long, and a sure death. I'm still kind of hesitant to give it a five, but I will do. So the rack got a nine. Now the last and sixth trapped was actually put on earlier in the movie, but activate at the end. She is wearing a cutter with about 12 shotgun mags around the neck and when the cue hit, no more head. So on the first note, there's no suffering or anything involved until the blow up. So I guess I cannot really give more than one. And at the final impact, it is brutal, but she don't suffer at all. And is it efficient? Hell yeah. So I'll give a four, which gives it a five out of 10. Thanks again, Mr. Maggot, for the invitation on your review. I want to wish you and the Maggot Maniacs a good Halloween and a bloody nice day.